Welcome back to another Frankly DIY. So on this episode, I'm doing the drive belt on this Sprinter. This goes for any car or van that has a drive belt. Um, so in this one, we got to remove the whole front of the van to get at the belt. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing in this episode. Stick around, let's get cracking. Okay everyone, so as you can see here, we got a problem. So the drive belt has sheared. Um, there's the two pieces over here. Okay, so I was driving and I started hearing some ticking. I pulled over, had a look, and there we go. There's a piece of the drive belt after coming off. Okay, so now in these Sprinter vans, the 208s, CDIs, you're gonna take the whole front cover off the two lights, the bumper, and pull out the radiator. Okay, so the best thing to do is take off your bumper first, okay, um, and then the grill, the lights, pull out the brace plate, and then you can get your radiator, pull your radiator out to the side, and then I'll get you on to the next step. Then, okay, so let's get into it. First up, 14mm socket to take off the bumper. Okay, um, next up you want to remove your heat guard, your suction pipe, um, then remove the latch for the bonnet and then your four um, tech heads or torque heads holding in the brace plate. Okay, we're going to need to remove the manifold pipe, okay, and we're also going to have to loosen the two bolts in on the mass airflow meter as well to give it room to play. Okay, this is a T. 45 uh, Also just get a clean rag and push it down The air intake towards the mass airflow meter so you don't get any debris in there <clears throat> It's good uh, practice Okay, now with all, all that removed out, you can 
go ahead and lift up the radiator and just pull it out to the side um, so you can get a little bit of room um, and just take off these clips as well that are holding the radiator cover in as well and that'll give you a bit more room to get at the belt you don't have to I mean you probably will have enough room but it just gives a bit more room if you take off these clips okay and remove the radiator cover and just remove that clip for the manifold air intake as well take off this pipe so you can pull the radiator out forward So now you got good access in here all right now let me see now I usually do take off the fan from here and um, yeah so when you're taking off the fan just need a screwdriver to wedge down into the bolt that's there just to stop the radiator from spinning and just use a torque to get that out it just gives you more room to get in to the adjustable pulley to get the belt off okay this is a t50 to get the radar fan off Alright, so now you can see we've got great access here. Okay, this is exactly the same thing you need to do to remove the high pressure diesel pump as well. Okay, so even if you are replacing any of these parts in here, it's always good just to do your serpentine belt as well. You might as well, sure, you're in here. But, okay, here's the adjustable pulley in here. So you just need to get a torque. Um, in there and just pull it towards you and that helps slacken the belt and then just take the belt off just pay attention to your setup on the belt because you need to put it back exactly the same way you know it's different for automatics and manuals all right and ones that don't have aircon and do have aircon all right so just pay attention to that okay this is a t60 to remove the belt Yeah. Now, as you can see, it's after ripping the end off, shearing it, so obviously this belt is knackered. But good thing, I always keep a spare belt in the van, because you never know. Alright, so let's get this in, it's reverse of the process of taking it out. Again, just pay attention to how your belt is, make sure you put it back exactly the same way as you take it out. Okay, so that was a video on how to change your drive belt uh, or fan belt, serpentine belt, it's the same thing. This was for a sprinter, um, it's a little bit different, but it's a guideline to any vehicle. So I hope this video helped you. Um, if you need any help, shoot me up a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, thanks for watching and may the look of the Irish be with you. See you in the next video.